Okay, <clears throat> so my movie that I chose for this project um, was The Chronicles of Narnia, um, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Uh, what was the movie about? The movie is about these four kids who move out from a war, a war for a bombing from their home, and they move away, go into this house, and this one girl named Lucy. Uh, finds a wardrobe and is in Narnia. And apparently in Narnia, there's a prophecy that four children, or four, or two sons of Adam and two daughters of Eve, will come in and save Narnia. And that's pretty much the gist of the movie. The characters, and there's a lot of characters in the movie, it's a two hour long movie. Um, the main cast is Edmund, Lucy, Peter and Susan and Aslan and the White Witch and many many other side characters. Was it a good film? Yes. It was definitely a good film. It was a great film. I would definitely highly recommend people watching it. Um, so the four principles that the movie displayed. Um, the first one was emotional intelligence which is basically a uh, it was it's a idea or the ability to understand or identify one's emotions and handle stress and emphasize with others. Um, we see this during the beginning of the movie. Um, we see this during the beginning of the movie. Um, with Edmund and Peter. So during the bombing of their home, Edmund decides to go back to their house and grab the picture of their father. And Peter didn't like that, obviously. And Peter was really angry at Edmund. And so we see that Peter is displaying some emotional intelligence within that situation, um, which was pretty justified, I feel like. And in fact, all throughout the movie, Edmund is being a jerk to Lucy constantly throwing tension tantrums and stuff like that which makes sense with their kids you know kids don't really have a good emotional control of their emotions um, but we see that with Edmund a lot in the film we see it when he encounters the white witch we see it when he encounters um when he discovers the true intentions of the white witch I even see it when he even admits that he was wrong and that he lied and that he was just a terrible person to Lucy and um the rest of his family. Um, the second example is with Aslan. Specifically when Aslan, who decides to give up his life for a ransom for Edmund for committing a treason and being a traitor. He, since he's a traitor, he has to serve a penalty if he just death. Aslan takes his place and die for him. And so we see that Lucy and Susan see this and witness it. This is a display of emotional work, which emotional work is the amount of effort to display a certain emotion in a certain situation. So when they see Aslan die, they have a great sadness and turmoil, turmoil from that event, which is justified. Um, and I think that's a really great example of emotional work. Um, the third one is relational learning. Um, there's a lot of character pressure in the movie. It's a two-hour long movie. Um, so I guess the best way to explain this is with Edmund. So Edmund and Peter are just two perfect examples of it. Edmund and Peter go from hating each other to Edmund views Peter as, a, as him trying to be his dad. Peter sees Edmund as a kid who very disrespectful and just a bully. And as they go throughout their journey, um, they eventually come to... Uh, agreement they eventually understand that each other better and they learn to accept each other's flaws and weaknesses and embrace one another for who they are and become friends again um and the last one is display rules oh yes display rules is a is they're Display rules is the kind or amounts of emotion expression that are appropriate. So, 
The best way I can really explain this is like throughout the film, there's two emotional themes in the film. There's despair and there's hope. So in the beginning of the movie, when Susan or when Lucy, sorry, um, first discovers, discovers Narnia and meets Mr. 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 Tumnus, who's like the um, falling in the beginning of the movie, you see Mr. Tumnus with being sad and, and very full of despair and dread because he has to kidnap Lucy because the White Queen wants to kill her. But he doesn't do it. And he feels really ter terrible and sad about it because he he gives a hint that Narnia is full of, it's not the way how it was, not the way it was supposed to be. And so we see there that in the beginning there's a sense of dread and despair. But towards the end of the movie, when he meet Aslan, <laughs> there's a sense of hope. And we see that with all the animals there. Every all the animals are happy by us. Like even when the queen, when um, Edmund's in the prison um, with the white queen, when he sees who she really is, who she actually really is, um, Edmund gets a sense of dread, and he makes his ass land to her, and she's about to kill Edmund, the white queen, and the white queen um, has fear, and Mister Thomas, who was also there in that same scene has hope. So Aslan represents hope and the white cream represents despair. And you see that reflection through all, all the characters how they interact with the white queen and with Aslan. Um, and so this is, these are the uh, concepts that I found in the movie and it was really interesting.